In part C, we want to evaluate the time average power density. We know that E naught is 5, and we know alpha is 0.2. So the main thing we need here is eta, which we can get from table 7-1. We already know it's a good conductor. So eta is going to be complex. We have 1 plus j alpha over sigma, which gives us 1 plus j times 0 0.05. And using geometry with the real axis and the imaginary axis, we have 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Then we can figure out the angle. The angle is 45 degrees, and we can figure out the hypotenuse there. So we get 0 0.0707e to the j 45 degrees. So once we plug that in here, we have s average is z hat. Then we get 5 squared, which is 25, over 2 times 0 0.0707. e to the minus 2 times 0 0.2, so we get minus 0.4z. And then we have cosine of 45 degrees, which we can evaluate. So in the end, we get a z hat 125 times e to the 0.4z, meaning that the power density is also decaying with distance into the material.